Hey everybody, welcome back to X-Plane 11. I am Bill, or William if you want to be formal. And... Why do we want to be formal? I'm Julia. Nice to see everybody. And this is Julia's Flight School Lesson Number 2. <laughs> Julia's uh, Flight Simulator Flight School Lesson Number 2. Uh, or Billiam, yeah. Oh, yeah. Billiam's Billiam better. Splits the difference between formal and informal. Um, hello, hello, all of the Ryans. <laughs> okay, so lesson number two for Julia today is pattern work. And in order to get Julia to agree to do pattern work, which I love, um, but Julia doesn't find it as interesting quite yet. I think you might change your mind after we do this. Um, she wanted to do it in the woods. <laughs> which I thought was a very weird request, but we're able to make that happen. Um, we are in the Pri Prop Strike Studios. Um, uh, I mean, it's Mockmel. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's We'll just call it the Fisheries. This is the Prop Strike Studios Fisheries Freeware Scenery. This is free. Highly recommend you download it. It's really fun. It's not as challenging as their... Uh, Quatam River um, bush flying scenery. It's a nice long uh, dirt runway basically. It's lined with trees uh, and there's trees on one end of it so there's some um, you know aspect of danger I guess to it but it's way easier and it's it is actually a pretty good place to do pattern work. So what we're gonna uh, what Julia is gonna work on today is flying a pattern. It's going to be a modified pattern. Uh, it's not going to be the same altitude. We're not going to go up to a thousand feet. We're going to keep it pretty low and slow. Um, but just to get the idea of the shape of a pattern and going through the repetition of landing, touch and go, take off. Um, and the other thing is the view. The, one of the toughest things about flying in a flight simulator versus the real world is not having your neck and you're, you're being able to look around. Um, we've got some hotkeys set up on the number pad. So if you go into the plane here, um, I've got it set up directionally. So this is eight right here. Uh, and then seven and nine look to the left and to the right. Um, four and six look over the wing to the left and right. Five looks down at the instruments. Uh, and then I've got one, two, and three are just kind of um, uh, looking behind. So one is behind to the, this is actually backwards, um, but, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's backwards. Yeah, it's backwards. Um, oh, wait, no, I have, no, I do have it right. Yeah, there's one. So that's back into the left, and then there's three back into the right, and then number two is just like an external. Uh, an external view. Um, Why is everything open? Because we're not in it yet. We got some luggage to uh, load up for pattern work. Yeah. Um, once once you turn the batteries on, everything like goes mm. away, and then we we pop in there. I don't I don't know why. Uh, that's open up. Pull up. Oh, that'll close eventually. Pull up. Uh, Captain Mohammed, welcome aboard. How's it going? Um, safer skies, hello. Uh, throw on your Canadian accent. Oh God. <laughs> um, first time. Oh, first time. Try doing it above the woods. <laughs> In the woods is more of a, a Jedi pattern. Uh, not having your neck. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, you ready to start this thing up? Yup. Yup. Okay, we got the bat. Well, I'll, I'll start it. Turn it off. So, um, battery and alternator. Get those switches on. Mm -hmm. Put on the beacon, which is that button right there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Not really needed in this situation because that just signifies to other people on an airport that you're about to start the engine. We're obviously not um, near anybody. 
Uh, okay. Turn on the fuel pump now, which we kind of determined we're going to turn that on, but since it's so loud in the sim, we're, we'll turn that off at some point, but, um, cool. Uh, now look down. Um, you could do either, yeah, you're going to need the mouse for this one. So you can, you can right click and look, and look down. Remember, remember to kind of little to click in the middle of the screen it helps to move around and then to get the fuel selector onto the on position cool now let's make sure the parking brake is set it looks like it is set you see it's pulled out right there um, and then you can you got that the little button on there there's off there's on so parking brake is set start her up look at look look to the front too so you can see if the props moving. The nice wood prop. What am I doing? Um, starting it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Remember, it doesn't it doesn't click itself back. Like when you start it, it's like a key. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Close the canopy. Just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> How do I do it? I don't know. Okay, see the little handle? This is part of... No, this is This is a cool yes. part. Yeah. This is a cool part about simulators is think think about it in, you know, like, what would you interact with in the real world and then how would you interact with it in the sim? Um, so you see the handle right there for the canopy. Maybe click that and it, it pulls it back. Okay, hit the uh, avionics switch now. <laughs> Ring police, thank you very much. I spent a lot of time on that prop, uh, making it look like it was wood. So I I really appreciate you saying that. Um, and Captain uh, Mohammed, welcome, welcome aboard. All right, now since you've selected a soft field to do pattern work, we'll treat this as a soft field. It's gonna be so excited. Um, yeah, wooden props do look cool. Okay, let's get on all the lights. So let's turn on landing, taxi. We'll put on strobe as well, just because whatever. And nav. Normally you wouldn't put on the strobe, the um, the strobe until you were on the runway, but it it's this is different, obviously. Every light must be on. Okay, let's get looking ahead. Which you can use eight. I've got eight set up to to be like the default look ahead. Cool. Cool, cool. <laughs> Do it. All right. Uh, okay, so let go of the um, parking brake. This one. Yep. Get your feet on the rudder pedals. We're gonna we're gonna taxi out to the runway. Dude, my lips are super orange. What the hell? How dumb is that? Julia, that looks really stupid. <laughs> they are really orange. I know, I don't know why they keep why it does that. <laughs> really gotta figure that out. <laughs> I feel like you need a tan. And then it would balance it. Yeah, I do. I do need a tan. Okay. I'm like very white and then orange. Very looks. pale, I know. Okay. What's up, Dave? Happy, uh, what day is it? Little Thursday? Little Friday. Little Thursday. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> if Julia starts doing flight streams, will I start doing cooking streams? If we did a reverse <laughs> sim to table, that would be pretty cool. That would be, that would be kind of cool. The only the biggest hurdle on that would be you managing the stream. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, feet on the rudders. Give it a little power, and let's taxi out. <laughs> that would be insane. Uh, heels. 
full like heels back on the rotor pedals. Okay. Uh, we're on dirt. Pull pull the yoke back a little bit. The yoke. The stick. Okay, now give it. Well, like, so when you're on when you're on dirt or grass, you want to have the yoke full back when you're doing anything in your taxi. So the prop wash going back on the elevator actually lowers the tail. It's not really doing it. I mean, you can kind of see there. See how the nose comes up a little bit? It keeps the weight off of the front wheel so it doesn't dig in there. Because this is a three wheel essentially. Uh, so just give it, give it more, give it more throttle until it moves. There you go. Right pedal to go to the right, left pedal to the right. Pushing them in? Yeah, or? keep your heels down. Yeah. So you're just you're doing like that. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Like, like. Yeah, well you're not you're not moving. I know. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Yeah, you're not underway. So okay, so so get it neutral. Pedal's neutral. You just, you just gotta, I mean, it's not like a car where you've got a gas pedal where, you know, you've got instant um, acceleration. Like, it takes, there's a little bit of a delay on both the going faster and slowing yeah, down. We're going to the right. Verity, what's happening? You okay? <laughs> What's happening? Happy, happy little Friday. This is good practice for taxiing because it is, there's a lot more resistance being on the dirt, so it's, it's slower. Get in the fuel for a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. It's very, it's very slow. It's okay. We're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> uh, um, some of the trees have collision on them, but not not all of them. Okay, so we're gonna stop here. We're gonna get lined up. So this is the runway. This is it. You're taking off from here. Um, when you're doing a soft field takeoff or landing, well, soft field takeoff, you want to have the first notch of flaps in. So we're gonna put in the first notch of flaps and you're gonna have, you're gonna immediately start with the yoke full back. Yoke or stick full back. So you, you have it all the way back. The faster you get, the more the nose is gonna wanna come up. You don't want it to get to the point where you're like hitting the tail and popping a wheelie the whole way. So the faster you get, the less, the more you are gonna bring the stick out. So you're gonna start like this. The less, the more? Yeah. So the faster you get, the less back pressure you're going to have. You want to keep the same nose angle, basically. So full back on the stick, kind of let it out the faster you go, and the plane is going to take off. And then we're going to do a right, a right pattern. You will at the end of this, or you'll like it less. Um, pick up the plane and drag it. This damn thing is light enough. You probably could just pick it up. Hey, bird. Oh, buddy. Go, Julia, go. <laughs> Finbar, thank you so much for 22 months. Good lord, that looks like a typo. Yo, all traffic in the area, please advise. <laughs> Please advise, for the love of God. <laughs> Finbar, thank you so much. Um, you are the man. I appreciate it. Do I have infinite lives? You've got infinite lives, infinite ammo, infinite health. Okay. We're gonna. It's I'm gonna be. Like, it's this is gonna be fun. Recharge. Yeah. Okay. Um, our our goal uh, is gonna be. Can we copy the risk? Traffic in the <laughs> area, please advise. 
The goal is to get you to do a butter landing. Um, is to get it to be butter. I always do butter landings. But it's got to show it. You got to have butter show up on the screen. It's happened. Let's then. That's the goal. We should be fine. Do I have infinite? I have more patience than Bill. So not with this. I can do pattern work all day long. <laughs> can you? Can you teach me all day long? <laughs> as long as you're into it, I will teach you. I will sit here. Tell for, the truth, Bill. I'll teach you for five hours. If you're like Bill, I want to get this straight. <laughs> I'm going to do this for five hours. It's when you start yawning and rolling your eyes that I'm like, all right, I'm I'm done. Let's throw the computer out the window. Starflies, what's happening? Stick and rudder. It's very important. Um, I always thought the idea of pattern work was really dumb. It made no sense to me to fly in a circle and not leave the airport until I did it. And then I realized how much fun it is to... I, it's like a challenge. It's like a puzzle because everything has to fit right. And every time you go up, it's a little bit different. Winds are a little bit different. The weight's a little bit different. Um, you could be working on different types of landings. So it's a challenge. Um, you know, it's like running a race. It's like doing a long distance race. That would be, that's, I mean, I think that's boring. But you find it like a challenge a mental and physical challenge it's the same as this where okay you've done you've done the LA marathon now let's do the you know Chicago marathon now let's do the Catalina marathon now let's you know you have these like mental games that you play and try to get it try to improve every time that's pattern work pattern work is like distance running except you don't go anywhere <laughs> Or NASCAR, yeah. Um, so, NASCAR with no pit stops. All right, you ready? Let's, let's try it out. Um, so, slowly bring up the power, stay on the rudders, stay active on the rudders, and again, you're going to climb out, and then we're going to do some right turns. Or we'll see how this goes. Just copy the freaking risk. I think you, I think you got it. You can do it. There you go. Remember, this thing has like 80 horsepower, so you gotta like. Why do you gotta, you, know you gotta. That? Okay, now give it, give it full power. There you go. Yeah. Get that little diesel going. Oh crap! Left rudder, rudder. Too low. Terrain. Yeah, no Terrain. <laughs> <laughs> Good to the right. Wait, what am I doing? Okay. So the rudder moves your nose in the direction that you want to go. So if you're still on the ground and you're veering off to the right, you have to put in left rudder. Okay, um, bring up the flaps, top button, and then turn right. Yeah, we may we may have some wing damage on that one. <laughs> oh god. Be nice. Okay, now look look to the right. Let's find where the air where the runway is. Oh, look to the right. So follow that river. Follow that river. To the right there. Follow the, do you see the river right there? Yeah, but I'm going yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a circle. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. But sometimes you're like, farther, <laughs> and then turn. Well, we're surrounded by, we're surrounded by mountains. <laughs> Ring police says if, if you crash, he's in fire. Okay, pull the power, pull the power back. Okay, look, look to the right. Okay, full flaps. This one? 
Yeah, hit it, hit it twice. Yeah. You only got two notches of the flaps, and then I'll just keep it, keep it simple. Okay, pull the power back a little bit more. Okay, look to, look to the right. Keep keep your keep your hand there. Pull it there. Somebody thought it was a good idea to let me fight this thing. That is perfect. <laughs> Okay, give it a little bit more power. What's up, Adon? Happy Thursday. Why don't you leave um, the German class in the A good pilot is always learning. Oh, shit. More power? Yeah. Every time you say that, I think you're... Power. Too low terrain. <laughs> okay. All right. You see, the, you see the runway there to your right? Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm going for it. There you go. There it is. So you're gonna touch down and then full power and then take off. Flaps up and then full power. Here we go. Why do you keep saying what I mean? Whoa! Oh, found it. Hello. After you touch down. Okay, you're, you're going 70 knots, so that's probably a little bit too fast. You could go full idle now. Pull, pull back. There you go. Make sure to use the rudders too a little bit. So if you're your nose is pointing to the left. Perfect. 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 Excellent. Full power? Nope, we're dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hi. That wasn't too bad. The landing. But you gotta be, you gotta be more, a little bit more active. Well, on the, on the I don't know what that means, so you have to explain that. I have no idea what that means. What what means? More being more active on the rudders. Using them more. But how, in what way? How? What am I supposed to do? Like any sort of. Oh, uh, okay. I will. I will give you rudders. Let's see, we'll get you lined up here. Okay. There's no reason to become alarmed, and we hope you enjoy the rest <laughs> of your flight. There's no reason to By become way, alarmed. Is on board to know how to fly a plane? Okay. okay, I've got your rudders, okay? So we got first notch of flaps in there. And we're gonna get the speed break, or the parking. Negative speed. Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, okay. So whenever you're ready, just give it slowly, but not too slowly, give it give it full full throttle. So that that's what I like. It's hard to feel. I understand it's hard to part. it's hard to feel but what where you need it. Can okay, no. give it full? Give it full. This this part I understand though. It's when you're saying like a year. Okay, I'm gonna those down a little bit more. A little bit more. All right, we're going to the right. Okay, put the flaps up. Birds. Okay, so now we're just now we're gonna make a right make a right turn. And look, um, keep an eye on the on the airport so you can kind of like peek a little bit. Son, your ego is writing checks your body can't cash. The same, the same lab that we just did. <laughs> um, yeah, that that audio did have hey, have birds hitting. Fokker seventy, thank you for the follow. To the right, 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 right. Hit uh, hit nine. Look, look over to the right. 
from the Gonna be. Surprise. Okay. So you see, you see the runway to the to your right. So you're just gonna you're gonna hug that hill on the left there. So hug, hug the hill to your right. You see that hill to the left? Hug the hill to your left. Yeah, what is what do you think I mean when I say hug the hill to your, to the left? I thought we were going back to the airport. Yeah, I know, but you can't but you're cutting you're cutting it too close. So right so you're not a good student. So you see how you went over the like over the center line? No. I said stay to the left. Hug the hill to the left. Okay, I get give, it, but we didn't do that the last time. Well, you weren't so far to the right the last time. Okay, full flaps. Two points. Okay, and turn, turn around. <laughs> yeah, I may, I may have overestimated my claims that I could do this for five hours. What part don't you get? Like the left. Cessna Skyhawk 204. We have to. Fuck. I can't be. You can't say that I'm a bad teacher if you tell me. I don't get it. What? This. <laughs> okay, do you see the. Do you see the runway now? Okay. So you got full flaps. You start bringing the power out a little bit. You know, up here you don't need that much rubber, so you're you're fine there. But it's when you get closer to the runway, you know, now you can go pretty much full full idle. Because last time you were like heading towards the trees, and the first thing you did is went full aileron, which will just tip tip the plane over. So you're not steering with that. Nice. Okay, full power. And as you go full power, you gotta go right rudder. When you move a little bit level, so you're kind of shooting shit into the right a little bit. That's probably Holy never. ass, dude. <laughs> See how nice that was? see if I are watching? I don't know. Any? I'd like to know how many times you told your student that you're not a good student. We're, we're more impressed than she is. Okay. Right. Under two. I don't, I wouldn't be so sure. There's, mm. it says under two CFIs. There might be, there might be more CFIs. So you want to just kind of hug that hole. Close, as close as you can. Like you want to be right over this area right there, and that just keeps you, keeps you wide, keeps you wide enough. Isn't that a satisfying feeling? Doing a nice touch and go. Oh. 
Up. Look at how nice, look at how nice this looks. Uh oh, who we got? Uh, fairing fans, welcome aboard. Thank you for following. If you're a CFI, say you're not a good student. <laughs> Sometimes we have as many as like five CFIs watching at one time, which is absurd. Okay, pull the power back a little bit. Uh, fairing, welcome. Okay, look to your look to your right. See where we're at. See it right. See it right over there. So on this, you can just um, give it. Give me one one notch of flaps. So just clip that once, and then turn to the right. Turn to the right ninety degrees. Check with them. Is that again? Yeah, there it is. See that? Like all you need is just like a quick little glance to see where you're at. Okay, now give me full flaps. Oh, you already, you already did it. Okay, so fly, fly that heading right there. Fly in that direction just for about four seconds. One, two, three, four. Now turn around the runway. Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am sure. Don't call me So you okay, so you see how you're a little bit lower now? <laughs> this is one of Okay. Taxi on your merry way, and if I need you, I will contact you. Oh, and there's there it goes there, and we're dead. <laughs> I can't get the feel of this this plane coming down. <laughs> That's a little. That was a little firm. I can't little... get the feel of it like coming down. Okay, Cessna I have an idea. Skyhawk two zero four. I have. Fuck. I have a. Hopefully a teachery idea of how to how to help with, yeah how to help with that. That was good though. <laughs> we can fix this. Yeah. Okay. This happens fast, eh? Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna mess with the soft field stuff because it doesn't really matter in this. All right. What? What we're gonna do is go a little bit further out before we turn back on the runway. So we're gonna fly like down the water a little bit and then we're gonna turn around and go slower. Okay? All right. Everything is fine. We're okay. <laughs> well, you told me I had infinite lives. You, ha you do have infinite lives. So. Look at this. We got a brand new plane. We're ready to go. <laughs> I have also unlimited money. <laughs> unlimited fuel, unlimited everything. We're good. Okay, okay. Alright. So, when you're ready, give her the beans. <laughs> Is that the beans? Watch the birdie! Is that Iowa? Yep. If you like these videos, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, Steve-O. Uh, this, this channel is brought to you, unbeknownst to him, by Steve-O and Kenevo, who asks you to politely subscribe, please, to the little guy. Okay, turn, turn all the way right. All the way right.
So we're just going, instead of turning, like once we get over the water like we have been, we're going to go just a little bit further down so we have a longer stream. Since we're not trimming at all, the, it's going to want to just keep climbing. If you have any problem. We'll take a peek at the room. Uh, Elgato22, welcome, welcome aboard. Kind of like, see like that little bit right there? Once, once we get to that, then, then turn, turn it around. Bye! of flaps to just hit it once. You see that light on the dash there? Like, yeah. So the middle one means you're in the middle flaps. Roll out right there, kind of right along that shoreline. There. You want to follow that shoreline. Now put the second notch of flaps in and pull the power back a little bit more. Now, do you see on, on this right here, do you see that red line? Let me just pause it for a second. That's telling you when it gets to the red, it's not going to be happy. This plane will actually s still fly like at 45 knots. It's ridiculous. Um, but that 50 is going to start climbing up. Um, just try to hold it right there and if you're this is um, I'm gonna try to explain this um, what's the first principle of learning readiness <laughs> okay I'm gonna try to explain this as a non CFI okay. okay you have there are you have altitude and you have airspeed you can trade altitude for airspeed. Does that make any sense? Yeah. So if you're high, you can trade that altitude for more airspeed by pointing the nose down, by losing altitude. So if you're at 50 knots and you feel like you're going, that you're slowing down, instead of adding power, if you have enough altitude, you can lower the nose. If you don't have enough altitude, if you feel like you're too low, you can add power. Hmm. And it's, I mean, this is, it's almost impossible to feel that in the simulator. If you know it from having flown the real plane and you, you're kind of like thinking yourself through the scenario, from experience, you can kind of go, oh, I'm, it looks like I'm too low. I'm going to add a little power instead of putting the nose down. Um, more instinctually, you can, you can make that determination. Um, but for, for you, I can tell you, like, okay, leave the throttle, put your nose down, or give it a little bit of gas. But try to keep it, try to get it as slow as you can. Keep it around that 50 knot mark. And you'll see it starts to get like really, you know, limp and weird to control. And that's where like you want to be as slow as you can control it to land. Okay. That made no sense. We'll see if we'll see how much sense that made. Okay, you ready? No. Nope. Alright. Nope. So right now, what would you what would you say you are right now in terms of speed and altitude right now? You're at 60 knots, and you're—that's—that's that's what it looks like to the runway. 
fine. Yeah, I would say pretty fine. What, would you add power here or take power out? Mm, I'd just leave it and then take it out. Yeah, you're probably, from, from how it looks here, you're probably more likely to take power out. Because you've got yeah. enough altitude, you can put the nose down to keep the speed up and not need any more power. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Set and go. These are not full flames, right? Okay, slow down even more. Yeah, it's 70 right now. I'll try to get it down to 50, so just pull it, pull it out. And you can, from here, you can just see that little red line. See how far down that red line is? And the more you put the nose down, the, the further, the faster you get. So pull, put the nose up. Put the nose up. Now that red line starts coming back. So since you put the nose down like that, you got super fast. Okay, get get ready to get. Perfect. Okay, full power. I keep wanting to like roll to the left when you take off. So no, keep... because I can't see what's over there. We'll just keep it, keep it when it's level and then you take off. That just was pretty much, that was pretty much perfect. Okay, right? <laughs> yawn, the yawn counter. <laughs> I cannot help it. It doesn't mean... B2 says she's already flying better than I did in my first week or a month. <laughs> That's nice, right? Really. Mm -hmm. All right, Scotty says. Sky has to be a four. Fuck. It's like running on a track. Yeah, but you get a cool landing at the end of each one. <laughs> or you die. <laughs> or, or you just destroy your Scotty says, don't worry, Julia. I'm just as confused as you are listening to Bill. I've been flying. I've been simming for years. You're doing better than me. No, you're fine. I just... Yeah. And, and Starflies is right. It is... There's a reason why CFIs go through as much training as they do. Because it's hard to explain it to somebody. Okay, look to your right. Okay, power out. All the way out, full flaps. Okay, go to the right. Try to make this one short. It's got, B2, it's got a Julia livery. It's got her name on the front. Okay, do you see the, you see the runway there? All right. So now, if you're getting slow, put the nose down. If you're getting fast, put the nose up. You're okay right now. I keep keep the nose up a little bit right now. Keep the nose up. Hold it there. Hold it right at that heading right there. Keep the nose right there. Okay, now slowly let the nose come down. A little bit of back pressure right there. A little bit, a little bit. Oh, money. Okay, full power. Flaps up. Flaps up. up. Power off one unit is perfect. Why does it keep on getting it? What is what? Why does it? 
I understand you with heart lately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the. I'm gonna do an outside view real quick. This is the Julia livery right here. Look at that. She picked the colors. She picked the registration. It's also it also has her her Instagram account right there. Nothing good on that. No, it's not good. It's not good. Either, is it? You got some. You got some fun stuff over here, so. If you like running or random food stuff, or that's better. This was kind of an asshole field to use to train her at. Starflies. This was this was selected by Julia. Yeah, not Bill's fault. I do not want to just fly around John Wayne eighty thousand times. I wanted Edwards Air Force Base with fifteen thousand feet of runway, but I want to be in the woods. Why is this one like? She wanted to say I want to fly in the woods. Okay, go power idle, full idle, and then full flaps. Runways are going to feel huge. It's it is kind of true. I mean, it it's it's almost like running with a weight vest on. She did get a wish, but I mean, so far, other than the few times we've died, it hasn't been. <laughs> it's been pretty good. This is this is a, this is a fun runway to do this on, right? Like it's at least possible. It's not. It's not like the other um, uh, prop strike fields that are just impossible. Okay, when you get closer, be a little bit slower on the pulling, pulling, pulling back on the stick. Pull back a little bit. Nice. Acceptable? And right into that rock. Full power. Flaps so. up and full power. We would have walked away from that one, but the plane would not have been happy. We would have just been stuck in. Wherever we Where is this? Western Canada. Is this your first time dying? Nope. Definitely. The and you you did this even when you soloed on pilot for the first time, which was amazing to me. Like the rudder thing, I think rudders. If you've actually been in a real plane, it makes it a little bit easier to understand how they work. Because this is so floppy and just yeah, pointless. Your, your left is it's just stupid. Um, but you have some weird ability to just be lined up on the one way. That is super cool. I'm not done. <laughs> I know you're not done, but it's it's still funny to see you just like somehow get lined up. Thank you, and thank you Nightbot for... I understand the concept. I don't understand it. I didn't even say anything. I know. This is the fifth time I should probably understand what we're doing by now. That's awesome. Give me a little credit. I mean, I mean, we're looking I'm good. Really oh, we're looking good. Do you take you take this one, man? You need a little bit of power to get over those trees because you're underneath the trees right now. <laughs> Four more lessons to solo. She's actually soloed on Pilot Edge with full radios and everything between two deltas. I don't get this when you 
Oh, that was a big old bounce. I like, I look down and we're like, we're still up in the air right now. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, that, I just let that one go. Oh, man. <laughs> what? Okay, so what, what were, you, uh, what were you asking? I don't get the rudder situation when you come down. Oh, when you're coming down? <clears throat> um, okay. The rudder points the nose in the direction you want. The ailerons move you side to side. And this one is like backwards and it is... I just need you to tell me what to do with my feet. That I don't need the ailerons and the... Well, because they're, they're, no. they're together. I just need you to say, okay, when you are coming down, mm -hmm. you need to push or you need to whatever the other thing Well, it's is. opposite of what your aileron is doing. So if you're if you if it looks like you're off to the right, if you're coming in and, and you're off to the right, so you want to be over to the left more. You give a little bit left aileron that moves the plane over to the left, and you give a little bit of right rudder that keeps the nose pointed down the runway. Well, we'll do a, do a lap, and when we get lined up, I'll show you what I mean. This is one of, like, in the real plane, this was a tough thing to figure out. With I a with a professional CFI there. But because your two halves of your brain and your body are doing the opposite things. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that pilot edge solo was where the f bomb came from. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we need we, we need a one. we we everyone needs a sip. Well, I'm just having water. What are you having? Vodka. Yeah. Yo, all traffic in the area, please advise. Um. Nice, Scotty. I'll I'll take a look at that scenery if you um. Send me a link to that. I'll check it out for sure. <coughs> Bless you. Why are you just, why are you <laughs> always just having water? <laughs> just so it doesn't seem like she's an alcoholic. No, I am actually having water. Is it water? Let me test yeah, it. Yeah, I am. It has a little, um, mm. little things in it. Yeah. Hey, Rigorian. It's definitely water. Yeah, well... Bah. Oh. Okay. Do you want to go? Do you want to go to an actual airport that's nearby this? Okay. okay. I think it'll be easier to to follow. Here. This is fine. I understand this. C -Y -B. I'm just telling you the rudder. C -Y -B -D. C -Y -B. I don't think that this is a very good scenery, but we'll try it. We'll try it anyway. Bella Coola, Lagar LaGuardia, here we come. <laughs> no, I want I want it to load up quickly. Uh, all right, we're gonna do um, same same pattern. We're gonna do right right hand pattern, maybe. No, we're gonna go to the. Oh, that's gonna be. Is that gonna be weird for you if we go to the left? Yep. It is really. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just go just go to the right. I can't turn left. <laughs> All right, and we've got a big, we got a big old bump in the in the airport, in the runway. This is gonna be great. Yeah, it, it is Bella. <coughs> I just, yeah, okay, ready? Parking parking brake needs to come off. Yawn counter number two. 
Yeah, this is explained one way. There's just a big trench right in the middle of this runway. So if you clip this, your landing gear is all coming off. Yeah. Okay, full, go full time. Cool. All right, Scotty. Thanks, man. Okay, keep climbing a little bit. We're gonna climb a little bit more for this one. And then turn to the right. And then we turn to the right. So pull, pull back a little bit. Still get the power. Fly that, fly that heading right now. Okay, roll it and then pull back between the circle. Okay, hit uh, hit nine. Kind of look off to the, the the upper left. Skim this mountain here. We can start pulling, pulling back the power a little bit. Gonna have a mental picture of where the number is. These are assholes, by the way. Why? Count them really down. Okay, let's check, check the airport. So, uh, Alright, power power back a little bit and Tell me I have infinite lives. You you do have in, infinite lives. We're gonna live on the edge. Okay, one notch of flaps. Okay, ninety degrees to the right. Power back one. See how you let the nose come down and it speeds up. Now look, check where the runway is. Things level. Check where the runway is. Things level. Check it. Wings mm -hmm. level. Okay, full, full idle. Full flaps. Alright. Not probably going to land this time, but see how we're going to the left? See how we're on the left? So if you turn, if you ailerons to the right, then you give it a little bit of left rudder. You go ailerons right. So you're, see how you're on the left side of the runway. So ailerons to the right, and then you give a little bit of left rudder. More aileron, more aileron, more, 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 more. I thought you said we're not landing. I know. But I'm just full power. But I'm still getting. Up. But you see when you're you're shading to the left, so you put the right aileron down, and that's going to get you over to the right. And then you add left rudder to keep the nose pointed down the road. Okay, then you lose the right. Flaps up. There's the end. <laughs> the never exceeds the end, actually. Okay. Um, uh, tell her specific numbers for powers. Um, it's hard to see Starflies. Yeah, which is, so it's, and it's not, it's, the throttle setup is not, not exact. And you got, you, you feel that indent? That's, you know, that's like half power. All right, so we turned a little bit too early, so just keep keep going there. Keep the nose going. So 
See, it's not just flying in circles, is it? Go full flaps right now and pull the power all the way out. Alright, give it a little, little bit of power. Okay, so right here, don't think about landing, just think about your relationship to the center of the runway. Okay, if you go full aileron like that, you see how when you see where the nose is pointing? Yeah. When you go full, when you Put the right aileron down. So in order to get the the nose can, keeping down the runway, you have to go left rudder. Mm -hmm. So you line up horizontally with the aileron, left, right. And then you keep the nose pointed down the runway with the rudder, the opposite direction. Okay. So so there, that's an exaggerated version of that, but you see now, now we've got the nose going in the right direction. Okay, so you're still straight into the left, so give me right aileron, and then left rudder. See, now we're, now we're more lined up. So you keep it, if, if there's wind coming that's kind of pushing you, you know, pushing you to the left, keep, keep the aileron to the right. Keep it, keep the aileron all the way right. Keep it going. Just keep it, keep it um, until you're until you're lined up. Okay, but that is not lined up. This. Yeah, but you're you see, so you're letting it go drift to the left. So keep the aileron down. So keep it, keep it there. And keep a little bit of left rudder, left rudder. There. So now you're staying. We're, we're shading to the right, but I'm. It feels like the wind is pushing you to the left. So you keep the right aileron down and just hold it there, and then hold that left rudder, keeping the nose pointed down the runway. Now let go of the rudder. <laughs> oh, there's the, there's the ditch! <laughs> you just fell. That would have been all three wheels ripped straight off. So you just gotta, you have to hold it a little bit more. So you are, you're kind of like correcting it and letting it go. Mm -hmm. You just kind of hold it, hold it a little bit more. You get, you butter this next one and then you Okay, you just fly. You fly. Let me check what the wind is. There may not have been any winds. There's nothing. There's no layer on there. Take a left down that valley. Meister Moose, what's happening? 
It could be, Ryan, it also could be the the default. I mean, this plane, I don't know if it has aileron trim or not, but it could be the aileron trim, too. That's probably why she's immediately going to the left after takeoff, um, which I guess kind of acts like a... Uh, Um, eyes, thank you for the host. Yeah, um, below. There is, there's, um, the white arc doesn't mean anything in this plane. This is, it's, and especially now, there's no, I wanted to not, um, add that extra bit of unnecessary complexity. You can go, you can be at V and E and put the flaps down and then you're fine. Uh, real world, oh, it's 270.11 gusting 17, yikes. Is that, that's not a word thing, is it? Right, maybe the left end. That would. Oh, you know what? No, I, it's custom weather. I don't have on the real world weather. Okay. Do you see how the nose keeps wanting to come up? So to trim, you see that little hat, that little Devo hat looking thing on the, on the stick? That's the trim, so if you push that up a couple clicks, that puts the nose trim down and you won't be fighting it so much. Happy little Friday eyes. How's your night going? I'm gonna pull up four flight and see if we can find our way back. Yeah she was Super dialed in. All right. Well, now we have at least one CFI in here. I may have boxed you into the king. Can you tell me the king is enough? Oh yeah. Fire was going straight. Oh, we're effed. All right, go full power and go to the go take that right fork. Dude, my bad. Turn turn around. We gotta we gotta turn around. Uh, just been doing some Elite Dangerous all day, it seems, and all week. Nothing wrong with that. This is the perfect time to just go video game crazy. We're doing okay. Uh, we're doing as well as we can, given the circumstances, I guess. Um, right, Drew? It's been uh, a rough couple days, but um, nothing that we can handle, I guess. Uh, go to the left. Speaking of video game crazy, have you seen these guys playing Vaughn? I don't get what the fuss is about. I don't know, I haven't heard it. I've been not paying attention to the video game world for a while. Since I since I left um since I left New I haven't really been into the video game scene. Using the mouse. Let's 
See the dial on the left hand side of the screen? So you use the mouse and that dial is connected to that little teal heading bug right there. So spin that dial until that heading bug is at the top of the circle. You can either click it or use the mouse for which it is. Or just when it's on the little finger, just click it. When your finger shows up on the mouse. Okay. Okay. Now zoom in to that middle, to the middle panel right there. That actually works. Okay. You see on the left hand side where it says AP? On the left hand side? Left hand side. Right. Yeah, AP. You see where it says AP? AP and then heading HDG below that. Click that. And then to the right of that, ALT. Now there should be an X on the upper left hand corner of the left or right of this box. To steer, all you gotta do is move that head go. Okay. So we're going down that little that little thing right there. Okay. Look at um, look around with the with the keypad. Yeah, but you gotta get used to it at somehow. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You have to get used to looking around because when you're when you're in the pattern to be able to look where the runway is and then look back quickly keeps you from you know getting too far away or getting too close. <laughs> you're getting too far away. You're getting too close. Okay, start to turn to the left a little bit. Now with that rubbish out, it's going to knock it in. I just keep saying it. Wait. And just holding, it's holding your altitude. You still have to maintain the, the speed of the throttle, but it's going to hold the altitude and then hold whatever heading you have.
Alright, our landing our landing spot is right at the end of this little fjord. You're the you're the Swedish one. Zoom in on the on the speed. Did I get the John Wayne's teeth? Which which one? John Wayne's teeth. Was it in the in chat or in um, in Discord? Oh, Discord. Fabio, thank you very much for following. Welcome aboard. All right, now use the right, right click to look around and zoom in down the map. So get get the screen centered. It's gonna it's gonna zoom into the center of the screen. Still holding the right button. Oh, this a uh, it's a useless. <laughs> what is this? Smoke signals. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 Meister, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> We're gonna try not to, Fabio. We're gonna really try not to. No guarantees, but I think Julia is going to um, butter in this last one.
much because it thinks that it's a, it, it thinks it's a citation. Yeah, I might be down for a group flight tomorrow. We'll have to see what my work schedule looks like, um, but it could be a short day. So that um, that actually might be pretty fun. It's going to be pretty busy in SoCal on Pilot Edge, but maybe somewhere in Western Expansion someplace. It's, it's been, how it has been so long. Yeah, it is for me. Look at, look at the map. It's actually not that bad at me. I it's been. But tomorrow it'll be, it'll be pretty crazy tomorrow. Ryan, you got the TBM, right? It's basically as fast as the citation is. And I am totally fine not flying in the jet. We can, if you, if you would like to join a group flight tomorrow on Pilot Edge, we will plan it on Discord. So click that link. Join the Discord, and we'll plan some cool um, flight somewhere. Yeah, the oh, dude, the King would be perfect. Um, just keep keep flying, flying. That actually might be it. Anyway. Uh, if I don't have Western Expansion, can I still fly? No, you, um, it won't let you into the Western Expansion. Um, but we could do, uh, St. Bart's. No. I'm not sure, sure. Uh, we could do St. Bart's. I've wanted to do that for a while. St. Bart's and TBMs would be pretty fun. Hopefully that wasn't butchered too bad. Welcome. Um, yeah, I, Princess Juliana to St. Bart's in TVMs sounds pretty good. Or in something that's marginally able to get in there. Like, I'd take the citation in there and see if I could land that thing in St. Bart's. Get the reverses out, going over, going down the hill. The jet into St. Bart's. Well, yeah, I've not had it, but yeah, but there is a situation. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, it should be okay. it should be done to uh, it's landed the MD eighty. That same boats. Did a commercial jet. Think I got a seven thirty seven in there as well. Is the zero? Six. Um, yeah, well, that one that one actually goes like actually flies in there in real life, so that's not as much fun. <laughs> it definitely needs a big, big um, Do you know how to get the co-driver to tell you the speeds, view on rotate, etc. For FSX, for FSX, I have no idea, but it should be per plane. I think that's like the actual airplane itself. No, it shouldn't. That's it right there. <laughs> Better stock up on paint. Yeah, maybe a little bit rough. But it is possible. I feel like it's possible. With the... I mean... MD-80 is the one that's default on that plane, right? And I got that thing to land in there. I can't imagine that it's any harder with that situation. You just have to hit the reversers before you land. Insulated Panda. That's a great name. Welcome, welcome aboard. Insulated Panda. How are those things? Get out. Just pop open the canopy. Like we just skip spring and summer. I would love, I would love to just skip spring and summer. I opened an adult beverage about two hours ago, and I should have got another one. Yeah, you. It's time for number three. Absolutely. got her firewalled. You ordered your adult beverage from Walmart? Dude, that's awesome. Okay, that's, that's, that's your, your report right there. Okay. So kind of hug, hug the left there, pull the power back, and lower and slower. It's snowed. Where are you, Starflies? That sounds like a nightmare. Crossover, full power. Full power. You can't just go head first into the forest. 
Okay, we're going perpendicular to the to the recording now. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Do you see? It? Mm -hmm. So right before you run into this hill, turn right. Oh, Starflies, you're in Canada? Nice, man. What part of Canada are you in? Take this whole one yourself, or do you want to actually make it? No, I know it will Okay. Okay. I got your. I'm on rudder assist. Acceptable, very nice. You did it. Hang on, I have something for that. There you go. No. <laughs> I didn't die. Good job. Point to point in the bush. All right, Julia. Fantastic job. Um, that was Julia, flight lesson number two pattern work in the forest. I will be right back.